Today, I'm going to disclose an instant manifestation technique that Neville Goddard taught my grandfather in the back of the Wilshire E. Bell Theater. This is an instant manifestation technique that Neville Goddard did himself in front of his VIP audience in the back of the Wilshire E. Bell Theater. This, this exercise is very powerful, and when, it's, when something is very, very powerful, it usually comes with a degree of difficulty, and I haven't disclosed this exercise before is because I have tried this exercise numerous times, and I've been unsuccessful at actually doing it instantly. I've had it happen, but it wasn't, I couldn't get it to happen instantly like Neville Goddard was getting it to, to occur in the back of the Wilshire Ebell Theater. But I'm going to disclose that exercise in this video today. Okay, so basically this exercise is a contact. You're contacting someone in your imagination and as you're in your meditation, actually visualizing this to happen, the phone rings next to you and the person that you have contacted or the, the scene that you have visualized with the phone ringing, you're actually visualizing the phone next to you ringing and then you pick up the phone in your imagination and you answer it and you can hear the person's voice. So my grandfather said that Neville Goddard would be in this meditative position or he would be imagining in his mind this phone call for about five minutes. So it wouldn't happen like when he first started meditating, but he would have it, it would be an instant contact during his meditation. So it's not like instant contact where you first when you first meditate, but he's actually... The time that it took for it to happen was a few minutes for the call to come in. And Neville Goddard would tell the audience who he was going to contact. The person that he was going to contact, this person is going to call me during this meditation. I'm going to visualize this person. And Neville Goddard would have a phone next to him as well. So not only in his imagination is he imagining the phone, but he's imagining the actual this, the scene where he is. So if you wanted to use this exercise, you can do that same exact thing. Have the phone or your cell phone next to you and sit down in a meditative position and imagine, close your eyes, and then imagine that your phone's right next to you, and then it rings, whatever your ringer sounds like, you hear that in your imagination, so you're hearing again. You're hearing your phone ring, but you, but you have to decide who the person is you want to call you, and you have to do all of these steps that are also included in this exercise. But Neville Goddard did this in front of his entire audience, and my grandfather actually witnessed him do this on multiple occasions, and my grandfather was actually able to do this as well. But I, have, I haven't successfully landed this yet, but I have done the exercise, and I did get the call, like a random call, like within an hour after I, I completed it. This didn't happen during the meditation while I was actually um, in my meditative state and imagining it, but I had it happen like within an hour after I came out of my meditative state. But this is a very, this is a very powerful exercise. It's a visualization exercise and, you're, and it's a lot of the hearing part of it. So you have to get everything in your mind correctly. You have to figure out who you want to contact you, whether it's you know your specific person, someone you want in a relationship, or if you'd want to try it out with a family member or somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time. Somebody that wouldn't, you know, there would be no coincidences that this person just happened to pick up the call or pick up their phone and call you during your meditative state. Okay, so it's going to be something that's also going to develop your belief that the law of assumption actually works, that your imagination is God. So this is a very powerful exercise, but it does have a degree of difficulty if you're, if you're trying to get to that level where it actually happens, you know, during that meditative state. But if anything, it'll happen soon, like within, you know, like with me within an hour or within a day or two that you'll have that person contact you. So basically the exercise is this, just find yourself a, a place in your room where you won't be disturbed for five or 10 minutes and get your phone and actually play the ringtone that's set on your phone. That way you can hear it before you go into your meditation. So you're playing it in your 3D physical world. That way you get it familiar in your mind. That way you're ready for your meditation. So you hear your ringtone. You hear, you hear the ringtone and then imagine that your caller ID, I know they didn't have caller ID when Neville Goddard did this exercise, but we have it now. So use that so you see the face of it. You hear the ringer and then you see the face of the phone itself with the caller ID and it's the person that you want to contact, whoever that may be, or a phone number. You see, you see the digits of the phone number or the name of the person ringing on the phone, okay? So you imagine all this, you get this in your, your imaginal scene and you create this and make it real. You're in, your mat, you're in your imagination, you see your phone sitting next to you, all of a sudden it rings, you hear the ringer, you look, so you're seeing, you're visualizing, 
And then you see the you see the person's name pop up on the front of your phone. You pick your phone up, you hit the talk button, and then you hear their voice. So create something something that they say to you, something that you want them to say to you, like, hey, I haven't talked to you for so long. What's going on? How are you? Or I have something for you. Or I really wanted to reach out to you because of this, that, or the other. So just create some something that it, that resonates with you, something that you can actually, you know, really get into that feeling state. Because as we know, feeling is the secret. So as you're creating this visual scene, you're actually seeing and hearing, and you're visualizing the entire scene. So do this for five minutes. Neville Goddard did this in, for five minutes, and then he would get instant contact. But even if you can't get instant contact at first, this is a very, very effective way to reach someone, to contact someone or have that person contact you, whether you're looking for a relationship or just somebody that you want to contact you that haven't talked for a while and maybe you guys had something going on with your relationship that you would like that to be solved now. So create that, create that conversation or at least the beginning of the conversation. So just make the phone call maybe... Uh, five or ten seconds and then replay it again then keep replaying it again like Neville Goddard did that's what he would do in his in his scene he would create you know the person to say something to them but it would be a short clip and then he would just keep replaying it over and over in his meditation until it happened and only take a few minutes so he was able to absorb himself in this state so deeply that he could actually reach connection with this person through the law of thought transmission instant contact with this person and actually going into sats sitting up without actually falling asleep so he's getting into this drowsy state or sats or the drift without actually falling asleep and contacting someone through the subconscious mind and having them call them instantly so you can do this as you're falling asleep you can do this during a day you can do this in the morning start practicing and this will also develop the muscle of the mind to be able to focus on one thing which will ultimately lead you to success in anything that you're trying to do in your life so the more you focus your mind and develop the muscle of the mind, the more you're going to be able to do in your imagination and the more you're going to be able to focus on one thing, even in your 3D world and take action and do certain things to whatever you're trying to effectuate in your life, whatever you're trying to go after and get, this, this exercise will ultimately help you in all aspects. So that's a win-win situation to try to do this and you're, gonna, and you're working on your imagination and getting this person that you want to contact you. So this is a very powerful exercise so let's go over it one more time guys all right so according to neville goddard this is what you do to get instant contact with another through the law of thought transmission while you go into sats during your meditative state okay so find a place where you're not going to be disturbed for five minutes sit in a chair or like neville goddard said an easy chair or sit in your meditative position either half lotus or a lotus position whatever you want to feel comfortable in. just don't lean back don't lean back on anything, so keep your back completely erect and straight because this you're keeping your body concentrated and erect will also help the mind to focus on your imaginal act. Okay, so you want to get into this place where you're not going to be disturbed for five minutes and you imagine and you want to have your phone right in front of you during this meditation when you get your contact. Okay, so you're imagining you have your phone here, then you close your eyes, take a few breaths, and then create this short clip of like a maybe 10 or 15 second um, movie clip in your mind. Okay, so you see your phone, you're, you close your eyes, and then you see your phone you hear your phone first the first thing you do is you hear your phone okay you hear your phone ring and then you pick up the phone or you look at the phone and then you see the caller id you see the person that you want to contact you you see the name on the front or the number you pick it up hit the talk button with your imaginary hand you're reaching with your imaginary hand and your imaginary phone and you're picking your imaginary phone up and you're actually and you're saying hello and then that person is going to say whatever you decide you want this person to say to you so you create this 10 to 15 second clip then after that's done then you start it again then you hear the phone ring again then you see the caller ID again. You see the person's name. Then you pick up the phone in your imagination with your imaginary hand. You pick it up in your imagination and then you hear, you say hello and then you hear their voice saying whatever you decide and then you keep replaying this, replaying this over and over and over and over until you get that instant contact. And remember, the feeling is the secret here during this this state akin to sleep. So you wanna get into a drowsy state while still remaining or having control of the direction of your attention. 
and maybe I will create a meditation, a guided visualization meditation for this exercise. Let me know in the comment box below if you guys would like me to make a new guided meditation on this exercise disclosed from Neville Goddard to my grandfather, to me, now to you guys, all of my viewers and subscribers. All right, guys, I love you guys very much. And don't forget to be one thing you guys are grateful for as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow.